We are looking at a samdap kimbap gochujang sauce, it's like a goger. <laughs> so winner, ding ding ding, very 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 good. What's going on, everybody? We are here at the Natural Products Expo West 2022, and we got invited by the Korean Agro Trade Center to come here and show you the hottest and trendiest food and health products coming out of South Korea this year. So whether you're a consumer or you're a business, you're about to be excited because some of this stuff is in the US market and some of it isn't. I'm excited to see the new trends. Let's go. Starting off, we got the Sama Group. They are bringing authentic Korean sauces and authentic Korean frozen foods to the States. Some of the products are already in Costco. Let's go talk to Mingo. Could you tell us real quickly about what products you guys have? So these are, you see here, are uh, just dry grocery sauces. These products are making it easy to get that authentic taste at home, Han Chef. Up here, they have the sauce that you can use for the Korean chicken wings, KFC, everybody loves that. But now these are their new products. They kind of have tofu sauces and they have like the jajangmyeon sauce. And these are really for your rice dishes. Love Korean food. Now you can get authentic, delicious versions frozen in your freezer. You know, it's late night, you got a craving, boom. Yo, that's really good. Yo. Yo, they did a hell of a job, man. Frozen Korean food is on another level. This is the advancement. This literally does taste like something I've had at the restaurant or at least Korean barbecue sides. Kimchi fried rice, I know for a lot of people is like their favorite Korean snack. Wow. I'm telling you guys, in 2022, these frozen Korean products are getting very, very, very good. I think it's cool because when you travel to Asia a lot of the time, you go to the 7-Elevens and you're like, oh my gosh, this food is so good, even though it's like to-go, like frozen refrigerated food. But here, they're bringing that quality straight out of the bag here in America, so. So as much as South Korea is known for like the external beauty, they're also actually really focusing on the inner beauty now. And there's this whole new health wave going on. So Korean fermented herbal teas is really blowing up. And this company here is doing some crazy things. This is Korea Hubble, a Balho Hansa. Okay. Okay. Yes. What is this tea supposed to help you do? This is a coffee tea. Owner and coffee together in have a tea time. The human and the dog can drink the same tea. Swing doggy. Tea for your dog. If you really love your dog and you want to keep them healthy, woof woof. <laughs> David, I think we should get some of this for uh, Nelson and Mochi. Oh. So they can bond over tea. Think about it, guys. You can toast with your puppy with the swing doggy tea. Doggy tea. Oh. Whoa. What am I tasting? What's in here again? That is a pumpkin and lettuce. Pumpkin and ginseng. That's great. Next up, we got the double layered ice rice cakes from Jeju. And they actually it's handmade and gluten free, and all ingredients is also from Jeju ingredients. Okay. So Jeju is the most clean island in Korea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is a special of Jeju Island. Yeah. Only in Jeju. Once you bite, you can feel it. Very from the nice cleanest island. island in Korea. Jeju is, is it. This is it, guys. Man, these are really, really good. Wow. What's this brand called? Ome, ome. Ome, ome. Come check out Ome, ome. All right, next up, we got this gochujang sauce that hasn't yet made it to America, but it's about to hit the market here. It's not just regular gochujang, it's cho gochujang, which uses pineapple vinegar, so it's gonna be a little bit sweeter and it has a little bit more of that bite. Oh, so do you think when Miss K's secret enters the US market, people are gonna gravitate I towards it? I think so, of course, yeah. Because you can use it on like hot dog, pizza, burgers, anything you name well, it. I never thought I would just be eating gochujang on a tortilla chip. I know. And, it, and it seems like you guys made it the density a lot more like sauce like, right? Yes. So it kind of looks like a hot sauce right All now. All right, you guys, this is Miss K's secret cho gochujang. You know what it kind of reminds me of in the Western cuisine? Yeah. Like mango habanero became very popular. This reminds me of the more Asian version. Did uh, cho gochujang get pretty popular in Korea? Yeah, of course. We use it on sushi, you know, sashimi. One of my favorite panchans, the anchovies. It's good. This is a new wave, man. It's a winner. Ding, ding, ding. The Hallyu does not just mean K-pop. Well, this good. is a cognac jelly. Obviously, we have this already in H Mart or any other Korean Asian markets that are really popular, obviously. But this one is our new product where it's more, this one is more drinkable, smaller jelly pieces, more texture. But this one has actually fully jelly, so it's more softer, easier to open. Yeah, like that. So then, what? This is like a Gogurt. <laughs> but it'll be thicker than that. And when would you drink this? Well, it's very good for people on diet, right? 
right? They want to lose weight, but they don't want to go starving. Like a light snack. Conjac jelly stick on the go when you need a snack and you want to be healthy. I like it. You do? I like it. I, and it's actually wow. easier to carry than a jelly cup too, because you know, like well, yeah, the is. cups that you get mash those and they leak and stuff. I'm energized. I'm ready to go. Boy, we have a couple of different things. Like first is our organic line. Right? This is like the Visvita original. This is what we were known for. This okay, is right. This, you, this is the one you see everywhere in every yeah. market, uh -huh. right? But this is the organic line. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And How then does, just, does the organic one taste different? Yes, it does. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit, you know, it's designed, you know, for like people who are a little health conscious. So it's less sugar content. It's made with like organic stevia. So we also have this line. This is our Costco only line. So see the premium. You, know, you, you gotta be premium to go Costco. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. And then you guys have the Chupa Chups. These are so, yeah, sparkling mean, waters based off of the lollipops. Yes, exactly. So it's a sparkling soda based off the lollipops. That is actually a brand new product that we're considering releasing as an exclusive distributor here in the U.S. It's made in Korea, made and bottled in Korea, and then. Uh, it's brought over and so we're just oh, is, this pretty, is this big in South Korea? Or, uh, or is it no, this is brand new. This is a brand new sparkling soda based off the lollipop made in Korea. They're deciding still on whether they want to enter the American market. Never seen before, never tried on camera in the history of the world. Chupa Chups strawberry and creams popsicle based soda. Look at that. You can see how creamy it is. Bro, what are you talking about? Aloe, you guys know the deal. Good for your skin, good for your body. It's nature's miracle plant. All organic, USDA certified. When you want kind of a flavored drink, but you want to stay healthy, I think this is going to be a good move. Oh man, that tastes like a lot more than 40 calories. That's how you know it's good. Guys, everybody loves sesame oil. I am a lover of sesame oil myself. I use it in so many different dishes. I'll pour it on my kimchi. But this is black sesame oil. Now, a lot of people, David, are familiar with black sesame as a dessert item, right. something that you would crush up, put it in shaved ice or something. But this is the sesame oil version. There's restaurants in New York that are using this right now. Dude, they got premium raw perilla oil. If you guys know about the perilla leaf, an amazing taste that's so unique. I don't even know how to describe it, but perilla oil. I could see this getting big. Straight from Korea. We're a company from South Korea, and we created um, this brain supplement, right? It's a dietary supplement. It helps enhance your memory and also your immunity. So, like, the main ingredient is red ginseng, which, you know, is good for men. It helps you you know, gain strength. And the, we also have sub ingredients, all made from Asian herbs. All right, we are about to try a brain supplement that is not supposed to only make me stronger, but also in increase my memory. It's called Brain Play. All right, you guys, here it is. Whoa! Yeah, no. It doesn't have a smell for it. No, oh, no, yeah. no. It, I thought it was Sichuan peppercorns for a second. All natural ingredients taken from the earth, there to make you stronger, make you smarter. Denature bio labs. All right, so this is how you actually take the brain flex. We're going to shoot it into our mouths and then we're going to wash it down with water. We need to remember everything from today. All right, you guys, we're in front of Eco Road and they are selling an organic cheddar cheese from Korea. What's special about this cheese? It's 100% organic, it's organic certified, and it's uh, naturally processed. So when it's fermented, naturally processed, and it's really soft. Don't be surprised if in a few years, everybody's only wants South Korean cheese. Hey, it makes sense because, you know, uh, on a lot of like popular Korean food dishes, they use cheese, so now they got Korean cheese on Korean food. Oh, well, that's so soft. I could see that going wow. really well on um, Doc Jim. Yeah, yeah. Doc Jim, yeah, right. Kalbi Jim on your ramen. Mm. All right, yeah. next up we have fine Korean red ginseng and they have all different forms. They have a jelly form, a tea form, they have a liquid form. And this is just really, really good for your health, guys. I think Korea, what they're trying to do with ginseng is really, really interesting because everybody's known of ginseng, but there's different types of ginsengs. And now they're like trying to incorporate it into your life real easily. For me, I always grew up with ginseng products, you know, being Asian. But the thing was like, they were so old school. They didn't really have a modern application. It didn't really appeal to me. You know, what they're doing here at Fine FT is bringing it to the new modern generation. G-pop, ginseng pop. It's great to take the very old school kind of herbs that are known to be very very, very healthy. I've never had anything like this before. Honestly, oh this was super good. It's probably one of the most delicious ginseng products I've ever had. The ginseng flavor is maybe like at about 35%, 40%. I like it. That chewable is straight up ginseng. Very ginsengy, but I do feel very healthy while eating it. Probably gave you a piece of energy already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. 
Definitely. I'm, so. I'm focused. Okay, okay. I'm locked in. Andrew, you're looking at 2,000 milligrams of premium vitamin C. Woo, going in my water from Huan's Foodians. Guys, they this is a health brand and they're doing all types of things. Obviously, they got ginseng jelly, they got pomegranate juice, they have pumpkin juice right here. Everything that's for your health. Oh, I'm gonna drink the pumpkin juice. Pumpkin pomegranate. Right. That's pretty good. I could see that people honestly going out and drinking and mixing this with something. 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C, not your average vitamin C pack. That'll wake you up. You guys, we are looking at a samdap kimbap or a cheese filled onagiri. And this is from Shirkiku. And don't be surprised, guys, if this is making it big in the US. This is already big in many convenience stores all across Korea. Oh my gosh, look at this cheese stretch. Oh! Ooh. Guys, you need a snack to go and you want to get your like kimchi fried rice fix? It's something like this. Yo, samdap kimbap, guys. Dude. I'm just gonna make it in a microwave. It's got the cheese, everything already on it. Super convenient. Mmm. Oh, stretch. This, what is this? What is this? Uh, this is quite the mozzarella stretch right here. Wow. Oh, so we're still going, bro. Oh, that's too crazy. Too crazy. How are you gonna eat all that? Great, easy way to get your Korean fix from the Korean convenience store to your doorstep. All right, you guys. The next booth we are at is a brand new product. It's a South Korean company, but they don't have this product in South Korea. Only for the U.S. market. Premium seaweed snack. This is made out of real rice flour and rice, and so it has a really crunchy texture. You know what I noticed? That you guys were able to kind of make it look like fish skin. Organic seaweed. Oh, these are really light. It's not heavy, not too greasy. It doesn't seem like it's going to give me a lot of that kind of like hot food feeling. In Cantonese, you might say, yeet hay, but this is... This is delicious, actually. All right, guys, we're here with Manuela, and we're about to go spin this wheel Ooh. for some prizes of Korean products. Wow. There so this is go. a virtual wheel. It is. You just spin it like that. Okay. The right. Either way, so. Either way is fine. Okay, I'm, I, I want the cooked white rice. So I'm trying to get that. Ooh. There you go. Let's try to make that happen. Fingers crossed. If I get something better, I'm not mad either. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of good stuff here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yes! Yeah, that's a train. That's been the theme of the day. Oh let, let me let me get a spin. Let me get a spin. Yes. Boom. There you go. Spin it until we get the dog donut candy. <laughs> Hot sauce. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hot sauce. Okay, we got the bulldog sauce. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video. We got to check out some brand new products that have yet to enter the U.S. market or have just entered. I think some of these have a huge chance of being the next big thing that you might have on your kitchen table in the next year or two. Yo, trust me, you guys know that we keep up with Asian items, Asian food, Asian ingredients in general. And I saw some stuff today that really, really blew my mind. David. What was your favorite one? The Korean wave is continuing to keep rolling. There's more and more dramas. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Jeju Island, the double layer from Ome Ome, a 10 out of 10. The product that I think that is gonna get really, really popular very, very soon is the Cho Gochujang, which is the pineapple vinegar gochujang. Everybody knows gochujang, but I think now that everybody knows it, people are also like, yo, what's next? What's the different iteration? And that one just had a lot of like sweetness, a little fruity bite to it. And I think that one's got some legs for sure. Huge shot. Shout out to the Korean Agro Trade Center. They made this video possible. We never get to come to these conferences to debut the new products. This is like very industry. I know traveling is kind of hard for a lot of people, but if you wanted to see and get a preview of the trendy products that are trendy in South Korea right now that are trying to make its way over to America, this was the opportunity here. So, you know, I'm really glad. I'm very honored. Man, I'm so filled up on ginseng and brain plex. My mind is going. So be on the lookout for some of these products. I'll have some links down below if you want to see some more information on it. And let us know in the comments down below what you thought was really cool and what you would like to see at your store coming soon. Shout out to the Natural Products Expo West. That's it for this video. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.